Yo, what's up YouTube? Back with another video. Welcome to High Vibrational Kings. This is a channel for people that want to better themselves in life. Shout out to anybody holding on to their energy, breaking bad addictions, and trying to become a better version of themselves. In this video, I want to talk about the spiritual side of drinking alcohol. So let's get into it, man. So the word alcohol, I think it's Arabic, uh, comes from the origins of the word alcohol. It means uh, al-ghul, which means body, eating spirit. Um, and yeah, so let's talk about it, guys, because, you know, in this society, everything is kind of revolves around alcohol. You know, it be, alcohol, as, may, as well as a lot of things in society, are normalized. Okay, so I want to talk about the spiritual side of drinking alcohol because everything is based so physical, right? People just see the physical side of it, like the physical effects, but nobody really is in tune with the what is happening, like spiritually. So, guys, you ever notice that, like the the hard alcohol, it's called spirits. The reason for that, guys, is because it literally it's like you're drinking spirits, guys. And have you also noticed why beer is called booze? Like booze, like a ghost? Because that's what it is, guys. Like whenever you drink any type of alcohol, especially like that hard stuff, guys, um, you lower your vibration. Like every time you drink, you lower your vibration to a lower frequency. And at the same time, you're, the more you drink, the more unconscious, you're, the more, yeah, the more unconscious you start to become. So the combination of those two things, you know, lowering your energetic vibration and not being conscious, that just kind of makes you like an easy target, like in the spiritual realm. You know, think of it like your body, when your energy is high, you know, you're feeling good. Um, you know, it's kind of like you have that aura around you, you have that spiritual protection. But guys, when you're drinking alcohol, you know, you're just lowering your vibration, you're more susceptible to like you know, um, being controlled, like, through the alcohol, like, basically, guys, your body is a vehicle for your soul, so if you're not, like, aware of, like, your vehicle, you know, these, like, lower entities, uh, that you're on the same vibration as them, they could use that as, like, an advantage to, like, you know, kind of use your body through the alcohol, because, uh, have you ever noticed, like, how when people drink, it's like they're not even them like you could like it's like not it's not even them guys like it's their body but like the energy behind it is like a totally different guys that's why people do like crazy things when they're drunk especially like when they're like blackout drunk they don't remember anything that's because it in spiritually that wasn't even them that that energy in their body wasn't even them it was most likely another entity because it's kind of like when you drink, the living conditions for your soul become like so polluted. So your soul is kind of like, I am a head out. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, so it's kind of like these different spirits can like go in and out of your body while you're like under the influence of drinking. Guys, it's very dark. And depending on like the environment that you're in too, you know, being in a certain environment can also make you more like, you know, like act a certain way. There's like a lot of places, you know, like parties can be like very dark sometimes and the type of music that they're playing, it only influences like a lot of people to act a certain way um, because you would, they would never have done that. Like if they were like completely sober, because when you're sober, guys, you're very vigilant. You're very aware of everything. You know, you're not. Um, letting your guard down that's kind of how it is guys when when you drink alcohol it's kind of like you're letting your spiritual guard down you're not like aware anymore you're not uh in tune with your thoughts your thoughts kind of just get like it's kind of like they get blocked and now you're having like these different thoughts and then the energy is just very like you know and that's the problem guys like in in society like it has become like so normalized like since pe uh like since people turn like 21 or even before that they've just been drinking and they just see it as like normal but like when you start having like a new perspective and like a new awareness of everything you'll see that things aren't 
as they always seem. You know, yes, we know about like the physical side effects of drinking because it's like a poison. You know, it just causes like kills brain cells, um, causes like organ problems. You know, weakens your immune system, makes you age a lot quicker, dehydrates you. All these negative side effects, right? Um, but people don't even pay attention to like the spiritual side because they're not really aware of it. But basically, when you drink, guys, like I said, you lower your vibration. So you're always going to be at a lower state. You're not going to be as, you're not going to be operating like as high as you can be. You're not going to be as happy like in your day to day life because you're constant, constantly blocking your blessings by drinking. You're just, you're kind of like just keeping yourself at a low level all the time. And the thing is that people have conditioned themselves to think this way because they'd be like, oh, I had a, a long day, you know, I had a long week, so I'm going to just get drunk as, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they'll just get blacked out drunk or even the casual drink, guys, like it just all depends on the, the person. Like even having like a, a casual drink here and there can be enough to like throw you off guard. Because the thing about drinking is that you have one or two and then, you know, your body, you know, starts feeling good and stuff. And then all of a sudden you just want to drink like more. And then that's when, you know, like things go bad. Right. But I know people probably say, well, it's moderation. But still, guys, whenever you like whenever you drink, it automatically lowers your lowers your vibration, guys, because, you know, I'm speaking from experience where. I have felt like really good naturally, you know, just been like retaining whatever, just being sober, just drinking water. And all of a sudden, I just have like this idea to like have a drink or whatever. And I could just feel my energy just drop, you know, like I felt a lot better just being sober than just like drinking like a beer or something. So um, this is something that like we all should like kind of be aware of, you know, because it's kind of like. Like, have you ever had, like, the, the first-time driver where you have, you know, the car, but at the same time, there's, like, different pedals on the passenger seat? So, it's kind of like you're controlling the vehicle, but at the same time, like, somebody else is controlling it? That's kind of how, like, drinking alcohol is, guys. It's kind of like you're battling, like, two different energies, like, within your body. Because, guys, there's been times before, um, I'll probably make a separate video on this on why you shouldn't drink on retention, but... It's very negative, guys. Like like I, how I said that, you become a target, like, in the spiritual realm. If you're retaining, guys, and you decide to, like, be... If, if you're, like, drinking, you're even more of a target because all my relapses in the past have been because of alcohol. Because I was just, like, under the influence. And then, you know, it just... Like, I hardly even remember it either. It's just... It's crazy, guys. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, I have a story real quick I want to share with you guys. Um, one time I was like, you know, retaining. I went to a party and, you know, I was feeling good and stuff. And I ended up like having a couple of drinks. You know how like the party is. So you just want to keep drinking more. After the party, guys, like I just went back home. And then I just felt like I was like in a spiritual battle because like my conscious self was like, no, don't don't go on these sites, you know, but my other part, like the other spirit was just kind of like, you know, like I don't give a damn, you know, just do it. So it, it literally felt like a spiritual battle guys. Like while I was like under the influence, it was like one side of me was like saying to go relapse and the other was like, like holding on for life, you know? And that's what it is guys. Like when, like when you're under the influence guys, you have it's like you're not as vigilant you're not in control anymore you let your spiritual guard down so now you have to um, be very aware of your thoughts so it's just best to avoid it because you know like why are you gonna put yourself in that position of you know like just doing all these things if you don't have to guys all right guys because since i was like 15 you know like when i i mean i didn't drink like hard like up until now like it was just kind of like on and off but, you know, like, around 15 or 16, like, I discovered, like, drinking. Um, but yeah, throughout those years, it was just, like, drinking. And I feel like the most I've gone without having a drink was, like, six months. And then uh, I started hanging out with, like, somebody that was drinking. So, 
kind of got back into that. But now I'm just like in a totally different space, guys. Like alcohol just sucks. Like in so many different levels, physically, mentally, spiritually. It just sucks, guys. And I want to I want to try it, guys. Like, I want to you know, just not drink anymore and just see how it transforms your my life. Cuz like when have you heard somebody say, "Man, my life has gotten great ever since ever since I started drinking." Like it's just the false sense of happiness, guys. Like it's not even real. You're just wasting money on it. You're literally wasting so much energy like So when you think about it, guys, like when you get drunk, you lose energy even if you don't relapse, guys. You lose energy spiritually, guys. Like you ever look at yourself in the mirror after a night of drinking and you just look like a zombie? Like your eyes look all like dark and it's really like you feel like you were drained out of your energy. And, um, you know, it's not good to, to be in that low vibration all the time because you're just like, you're not spiritually in tune with yourself. You know, you're not where, you, where you're supposed to be. You're kind of just blinding your own, um, you're blocking your own blessings by drinking. And not only that, guys, it's like, you know, you have to protect your vessel. So when you're drinking, guys, sometimes it's not even you that, that does certain things. It's the spirit behind that. It's the spirits using the alcohol to, you know, to use your, to your body to like do like crazy things. So, um, yeah, guys, that's very important to, to be aware of that. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, when you think about it, you don't consume alcohol. Alcohol consumes you right even if you don't think it does it's just like you're constantly like in a trap you know and it's time to break out of that trap and you know just elevate in life and um yeah i was gonna say something else what was it? um hold up <laughs> all right guys i just wanted to, i thought of a meme right now um that says Alcohol is gay because when you're drunk, you can't think straight. <laughs> but that's true, though. It's just like you can't, you can't, like, obviously, like, not like that. But it's kind of like a meme that I just saw. I thought it was hilarious. But it's true. Like, you can't think straight, like, on so many different ways because you're just blocking your intellect. And, you know, you're just being controlled by, like, other spirits. So, yeah, you know, you just got to be aware of it. So with that being said, guys, I'm in the video, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.